for the very latest. We can cross live now to Moscow. Our correspondent Nick Holdsworth is standing by. Nick, the British Prime Minister is saying that these two men are spies. Can you tell us more about how this is all going down in Moscow? What's the reaction been? The, the Russian uh, government reaction uh, so far has been to just repeat the same line that they've been repeating ever since March, which is that this is nothing to do with them. They don't recognise either the names of these two men, Alexander Petrov uh, and uh, Ruslan Boshirov. Um, they don't recognise the photographs that have been published by the, the British. Um, they say, let's work together. Um, to find out what really happened. Now, that's something which the British government has consistently opposed. Mrs May, in her comments uh, about half an hour ago in the House of Commons in London, said that uh, accused the Russians of lies and obfuscation. Um, she, sa she says that if those men leave Russia and enter any European country under the uh, control of the European arrest warrant, a red notice has been um, issued, they will be arrested. Uh, as you mentioned, we can't, uh, the, the British can't extradite uh, the Russians because that's illegal under the Russian constitution. But the, 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 the Kremlin's reaction has been entirely uh, consistent with what has already been said. So, as you say, these men, they can't be extradited. They've been charged in the UK. But what happens now? What options are left open to the British Prime Minister? I'm afraid very, very few options. Uh, I mean, obviously, uh, Mrs. May uh, may wish to issue um, more sanctions against the Russians or persuade uh, European partners in the US uh, to take action like she did a few months ago uh, after the scripples were poisoned uh, when there was a series of um, uh, expulsions of Russian diplomats, which the Russians then apply, uh, replied for. Uh, with tit-for-tat expulsions. Uh, but there's very little she can do. If, if you remember, it's, uh, it's only just over 10 years since uh, Alexander Litvinenko died after being poisoned with polonium in London. Uh, and those accused of, of, of his murder, um, uh, one of them, uh, Lugovoy, uh, ended up becoming a, a member of the Russian parliament and a bit of a star here in, in Russia. Um, I'm not sure... The same will happen with, with these, these two. They're military intelligence officers. They're not FSB, which is the domestic security service. Uh, I think the Russians will be quite keen to keep these guys under wraps.